Hi, I'm Greg Edwards. I want to talk to you about mobility. Mobility is an overriding area of care and it's assigned on every PCS. You'll be assigned one of three different assignments on every PCS. Either bed rest, out of bed to chair, or ambulatory status. Today I want to talk about ambulatory status. If your ambulatory status is checked, you need to look further for the specific type of ambulation and any specific considerations the CE has designated for this patient. If you have to ambulate your patient, you should look at the patient's chart for the following information. Any physical limitations the patient may have. Any equipment the patient uses to ambulate. Examples would be canes, crutches, or walkers. Also, any limitations for the length of time the patient is to be out of the bed and the frequency the patient is to get out of the bed. Attempt to identify the patient's previous tolerance of this activity specified. Before starting, explain your rationale for getting the patient out of bed. It's to help you build your strength back up so you can go home. You should also assess for pain, if needed, using the designated pain scale. You may need to pre-medicate for pain prior to getting out of bed, but only if it's necessary. If you do medicate the patient, wait about 20 minutes before ambulating. Lastly, ensure that the patient is appropriate clothed, including non-skid footwear. The stages in assisting the patient to ambulate would be, assist the patient to the side of the bed. Let them dangle their feet for a couple of minutes and assess them for dizziness or weakness. Assist the patient to stand, and if the patient has a weaker side, position yourself on the weaker side. Have any required assistive devices ready for the patient's use. Remember, an IV pole is an assistive device and should be charted if it's used when you're uh, ambulating. Now, ambulate the patient to the designated area or for the designated length or as tolerated. When ambulating the patient in the hallway, the patient needs to be positioned between you and the wall. Assess the patient's tolerance to the activity and pain level. Ask lots of questions like, how you doing? Let me know if you feel dizzy. Doesn't it feel great to get out of that room? Walking makes you feel alive, doesn't it? Let me know if you have shortness of breath or if you start having pain. You're doing two things when you ask these questions or questions like these. One, you're distracting the patient. Two, you're gathering data. The very data you may use in your evaluation phase. So make a game out of it. Your strategy will be, how many questions can I ask them before they tell me to shut up? The point is to get them talking and answering questions. When charting your ambulation, chart what the patient did, the distance, the assistive devices, and how they tolerate it along with pain status using the designated pain scale and any patient statements you can use for your evaluation phase. This, this is basically ambulation in a nutshell. I'm Greg Edwards. Thank you for watching.